Hey Aries, what's going on? Okay. So Aries, we are going to do uh, your love reading. I will take a look into your energies and the energies of the person on your mind, okay? So you may be in a connection with them already, maybe not. Could be at any stage of this connection, okay? So keep in mind it's, a, it's an Aries general love reading. Might not resonate for all of you. Take what you can. Leave the rest behind. Also, my readings are timeless. This will find you when it's meant to find you. All of my info is down below. There's also a link to my website uh, with info on personal readings. Go ahead and check that out if you want. Also, excuse my wrap on my thumb here. I'm going to be going to the doctor for this pretty soon because it's uh, not happy. So, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to take a look with your energies over here and the person on your mind over here, okay? So I'll take a look at both and see what we get. Okay, Spirit, what is the, Ari the energy of Aries in regards to the person on their mind? How does Aries feel? Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands in reverse. How does Aries feel about the person on their mind? How does Aries feel about the person on their mind? I have to do it this way. How does Aries feel about the person? That one was in a halfway. I'm going to leave it upright. Okay, so your overall energy, four pentacles in reverse, two of pentacles, um, tower in reverse. Looks like uh, some of you may be letting go of something uh, in this relationship. Tower in reverse, two of pentacles, four of pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's a letting go type of energy. Um, <clears throat> You also have the Eight of Cups, which is which indicates a, a walking away. So um, some of you may be trying to decide whether to walk away from this. Uh, some of you may not even be speaking with this person, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse, lack of communication right now. Also got judgment in reverse and ace of pentacles in reverse. So something definitely changed, okay, for as as on your end regarding this connection. You're not giving anything to it right now uh, with the judgment in reverse and this ace of pentacles in reverse. Looks like you may be standing up for something here. Uh, maybe boundaries, standing up for something. You have this nine of wands. Okay, it's that's fire energy. It's Aries energy. Um, maybe you put up some boundaries with this person in the past. Um, you also have the Knight of Pentacles, which is typically um, can be somebody coming towards you with an offer, but this is your energy. Um, uh, doesn't really go along with the rest of the cards, though, because the rest of the cards have an energy of letting go, you know, to them. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so the person may be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm going to clarify these in a minute. Let me get uh, the cards for your person here. How does the person on Aries' mind feel about them? How does the person on Aries' mind feel? Okay, the moon in the half position. Maybe there's something that they haven't told you. Two of swords. What else? Person on Aries' mind. How do they feel towards Aries? 
Ten of Wands in reverse. Person on Aries mind. How do they feel towards Aries, please? How does the person on thank you? Person on Aries mind. Oh, okay, I got another flipper here. One more. How does this person feel towards Aries? Their overall energy, King of Wands in reverse. So they're not moving towards you with any kind of energy. The Fool is next to that, which is a leap of faith. Um, I don't see any other cards though to indicate anything about them coming towards you um they may have some anger with this king of wands in reverse it could be another fire sign aries leo uh, or sagittarius so they've got the moon two of swords uh ten of wands in reverse the sun Five of Swords, Ace of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> so with the moon, like I said, this is Pisces energy, and the sun is here as well. It's Leo energy. Both of these cards are about things being illuminated, things being brought to the surface, okay, um, so that... You can see them better so that they can be healed, so that they can be dealt with. Um, the moon can talk about a secret they may have. Maybe there's something they haven't told you. There may be something they're thinking about telling you because uh, they do have the two of swords. Okay, so that's trying to make some type of decision uh could be a decision about communication it's a sword which is typically communication thoughts <clears throat> that type of energy excuse me um they may be feeling defeated about something they've got the five of swords here that can be defeat okay um can be some mental anguish or confusion. And they may be even holding back, holding back on, on maybe telling you something they want to tell you. Okay, I'm going to get clarifiers in a minute. But it does look like they're let, they may be letting go of this as well. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's a letting go of a burden here. It's also... They're starting a new cycle, okay? Ace of Cups in reverse, you know, that's they're not coming toward you with any love offers anytime soon with this Ace of Cups in reverse. So let me get my other deck here. Let's go over to your side again. Let's see. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Let's see what this one's about. Okay, <laughs> oh, very first clarifier. Are you kidding me right now? Um, three of Swords. This person could be uh, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could also just be saying that maybe you thought that this person was was stable, you know, dependable, loyal. Um, maybe you thought it would grow, you know, as far as moving forward and progressing maybe it didn't okay so maybe that uh, is where that heartbreak is coming from let me get one more on that yeah i just got done saying so ten of pentacles here okay that that's like my family stability card all right another pentacle which speaks of effort security stability um, progress, you know, building foundations, it came out in the halfway point. So 
some of you may feel that this person didn't give they didn't give as much as you would hoped or they weren't they weren't committed enough for you because this ten of pentacles is in the halfway you know it's crossing this three of swords here um so it could have to do with commitment okay of some kind let me just move that sideways just to get out of my way. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Nine of Swords. Yeah, so it's like... I feel some of you... <clears throat> excuse me. My gosh. Some of you, if you haven't walked away yet, you know, you're thinking about it because... I feel like this this person or connection gave you a lot of anxiety, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse. So it's like, you know, you feel like walking away from this um, will relieve that anxiety, okay? Um, you won't be upset. You won't be stressed out. You won't be... You know, angry, whatever the case was. You won't have it on your mind all the time. Let me get one more on that Eight of Cups. Okay, now we've got the Chariot. This is Cancer Energy. And it's also another indicator of you moving on. Okay, you're moving forward. Um, I feel like... A lot of you made the decision just to walk away and let this go, okay? So let's see why the Eight of Wands is here in reverse. Like I said, that's like a, a lot of you may not be speaking with this person right now. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? <laughs> wow. Was I right or that, about that or what? Eight of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Eight of Wands in reverse. Spirit, let's get... <laughs> Very funny, Spirit. Okay, let's get another one. Okay, now we've got... Okay, these two I'm not taking. Too many there. Okay. So, Five of Pentacles... Are... So, this, this connection made you feel maybe abandoned you felt left out in the cold okay um it was it it brought about the chaos you know the the anxious feelings all right so talking to this person i feel is painful for some of you which is why you're not communicating with them okay you may have broken off communication uh, let's get one more on that just because we have two eight of wands Queen of Cups, okay, so this is, um, you know, she's the Queen of Love, she's she's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this is your energy, and, it, and it's, um, Queen of Cups is also very intuitive, okay, so you're using your intuition to, you know, it's kind of like you said, I feel that the best thing for me to do right now is to not talk to this person, um because the situation brought me anxiety okay it upset me etc um you probably still have feelings for them though with this queen of cups okay because it is uh cups have to do with emotions feelings love okay so let's get uh why is the nine of wands here why is the nine of wands here Page of Pentacles, so that's, yeah, you're, you, Page of Pentacles, that's a new beginning, so, you, you know, you, it's like you, you're thinking, I need boundaries, or I should have set boundaries, Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you're not putting any more effort into this connection right now, you decided to quit, like, nurturing the connection, One more please, Four swords in reverse. Let's 
So some of you may have, if you already broke off the connection with this person, um, I feel like you took some time out for yourself, okay? To kind of regroup, refocus, heal yourself. Okay, why is the judgment here? Why is the judgment here? <clears throat> Four of Cups in reverse. Why else? Yeah, I feel like this is this is you refocusing, okay? This is you kind of starting starting over without this person. Uh, death in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Wow. Twice now. Same reading. Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. However, this one is in reverse. This one's in the upright. Um, so I feel like this is going along with, with you kind of starting starting over without this connection. Okay? With the Death in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in the upright. That's a new start. Starting fresh. What else? King of Pentacles, again, in the reverse. Yeah, you're starting without this person. King of Pentacles is the one from up here. Okay. Um, now this is in reverse, so it's you starting moving forward without this connection okay so let's go over to their side see why the moon is here spirit clarify the moon please <clears throat> they could be a pisces it could be a leo like i said they could be a Taurus, virgo capricorn <clears throat> it could be a cancer so Knight of Wands, okay, let's see what else. What else what else on the moon, please? One more on the moon, please. Six of Wands in reverse. Some of them, they may have feel like they failed the connection, okay, but I do feel like um, they're probably still attracted to you, but this, you know, it, it feels like maybe the thing they wanted to tell you was that this wasn't going to work for them okay that it wouldn't be um, successful for them maybe they were afraid to tell you that let's see why the sun is here why is the sun here please <clears throat> page of cups in reverse so yeah they're not let me see it's kind of funky to come out or it's saying they're happy not to offer you anything <laughs> Let me get some more. Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, that's no. They don't want conflict here. One more. One more. And the Lovers. They may, they may actually see you as <clears throat> their person with the lovers. This is also about a choice, okay? Um, also, it's Gemini energy. But there's some kind of, it feels like they're conflicted with their feelings or conflicted about coming towards you um, with their feelings. We've got Page of Cups in the reverse, Five of Wands in the reverse. It's lack of, 
they don't want any conflict okay but they've got the sun here so i feel like you you did or you do make them happy but they're hesitating on coming they some of them may want to come forward with an apology but i feel like they're that could be what they're trying to make up their mind about here with the two of swords i mean yeah the two of swords let's clarify the two of swords right now let's see <clears throat> Why is it two of swords here? Yeah, three of wands. So they're not um, they're not moving forward with that. What else? The emperor in reverse. They may they may be angry. They um, something they're trying to maybe control too much with this situation. Let me get one more. <clears throat> Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of them may not know how to communicate what they're trying to say, okay? Um, they may be thinking they can control, control their thoughts or control their feelings, okay? Um, Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're not they're not coming towards you though. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? <clears throat> five of Swords being clarified by the. Okay, so some of them may feel defeated, and that's why they're walking away or thinking about it. High Priestess in reverse. It's like they're trying to. Mm, this one gives me feelings a bit of confusion here. They're trying to listen to their intuition, okay, in regards to this connection or how they feel or whether they should... Um, walk away from this. Why is the Ten of Wands here? King of Cups. So they feel better when they don't outwardly show their emotions. Okay. Um, they may also be emotionally confused. King of Cups in reverse. Why else is this Ten of Wands here? Judgment in reverse. Judgment card again. Yeah, and four of wands, four of wands in reverse. It's lack of commitment again. Uh, why is the ace of cups here? Six of pentacles. And the moon again on their side in the reverse. One more. Age of Swords in the reverse. Something about balance with them or lack of balance. Um, moon in reverse. This again may be it may have something to do with something, some secret they they didn't tell you. Um, Page of Swords in reverse. They could watch you on social media, um, or they may be afraid to come toward you to communicate in general. Okay. Let me grab the romance cards and see what else we can get here. Romance cards for Aries, please. Okay, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? So you, you may have to wait this out, okay? Divine timing at play. Everything happens when it should happen at the right time. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So, you know, there may be somebody that you that you might meet that you that normally isn't your type okay but they may end up being the right person for you 
What else? Any more romance angel cards for Aries, please? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support. For, okay. So if you're upset about this connection ending or, you know, how you're feeling, maybe ask friends for their support. Maybe hang out with your friends. You know, get out with your friends. Okay, last one. Let's see. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So there's two people on this card. Obviously, they're a couple. Um, but if you're currently not in not in this connection or in a connection at all, you can still do that by yourself. You can go on vacation. You can just go to the park for a day. You know, whatever it is you do to kind of like, you know, disconnect from from the world. You know, turn off your phone, that type of thing. Just kind of like be in nature. Uh, always good for the spirit. So I hope this helped for some of you Aries. If it did, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I would appreciate it if you'd like this video as well. Um, and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day and the rest of the week. Thanks, guys.